Well, that was a game that will definitely cure your hiccups. Uh, but <laughs> Luther uh, moving on to the uh, Sweet 16 as uh, they defeat Wisconsin Superior and PKs 4-1. to one. And uh, Coach, you and I talked uh, last week about facing adversity with this team. You're the number five seed in the conference tournament and win three games on the road. You're down in a couple of those games in the conference tournament, uh, but you come back and win. Well, tonight I think that adversity went to another level, but your kids pulled it out. Yeah, I mean, to, to do what they did, I told the guys in the huddle, you know, and almost a little emotional as I kind of talked about it, just um, what a team, right? What a team to coach. I mean, as a coach, you know, you want your kids to to show that adversity and um, to battle through what they had. We talked about it here, right here in the tent. We talked about having big hearts, uh, but it didn't just take hearts, right? It took good tactical discipline to play down a man for 65 minutes, whatever it was. And we're the better team, right? And uh, credit to, to UW Superior to score that goal with four minutes to go. Uh, brutal, right? Brutal to concede that late, but uh, congrats to Joe and his team. Um, but uh, just so proud of these guys to, to kind of get them get themselves through. I thought we were the best team in the North Region this year. I told them to prove that um, in our pregame talk, and I, I think we've done that. Harry, you obviously uh, worked uh, really hard based on your uniform and your face right now, but you held them to 11 shots overall and only two on frame playing down a man for 65 minutes. Uh, Allude, talk about uh, your defense as a whole. How'd your back line uh, just, how were you able to limit the opportunities that Superior presented? Yeah, I think um, obviously going down a man is always going to be a challenge. Um, but at the same time, before the game, we talked about um, being a unit, a lot of communication. And I think going down a man, it just uh, epitomized the need for that. And I think um, <coughs> we've done really well. Uh, we've definitely grown a lot over the season. And um, yeah, I think a lot of uh, a lot of communication, a lot of uh, good games, people doing their best, going for it. And then uh, as Coach was saying, a lot of heart. And uh, yeah. Harrison, you go to PKs. First of all, have you been in a PK shootout before? <laughs> yeah, I've been in a few. <laughs> so, what's the mindset? What's your thinking? Uh, how do you just clear all the external factors out and uh, make sure that uh, you do your job for your team in that situation? Well, you know, you just gotta just gotta block everything out. You know, it's a it's a great atmosphere here. You just gotta focus on yourself and focus on the shooter. Um, read their cues. You know, I've I've played goalkeeper for a long time. I've been in shootouts a lot. I've seen players take PKs and players take PKs similarly. You know, um, you watch their body, watch their plant foot, watch the way they move, and just trust your gut and take a guess. And it worked out a few times for me. So. And coach, I know you and I talked about the uh, experience factor. Uh, this team, a lot of the members of this team was part of an Elite Eight team a year ago. Uh, how much does that experience uh, play into account in a game like this uh, that uh, your kids just basically refuse to lose? I mean, I think it's interesting in that this this 2019 team is so different than the 2018 team, right? And we've got obviously guys who've been in there in big moments, Keller, Colin Hughes, Carson, Harry, but the rest of the group, right, is is really di is really different. And so I think that's what makes this maybe that much more satisfying to see guys who maybe haven't had that big role in the team. Tim Maynard, Logan Morrison, Steven Johnson, Ben Sizelove was terrific for us tonight. Uh, Marcos Villa, Will Overboard, Overberg, a first year, scores a big goal in a national tournament game. I mean, it's, it's such a different team and I think, um, you know, it's the program, right? And, and from year in, year out, our goal is to kind of get ourselves to these places and uh, just so proud of this 2019 group to, to be back in the Sweet 16. I know, Harry, a couple years ago, you guys uh, didn't make the tournament, but uh, an Elite Eight run last year. This playing soccer uh, in November thing is pretty fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, always, uh, it's always a goal. Um, you know, I mean, I remember when we when we didn't make it in my sophomore year, it was it was just heart-wrenching. I mean, it was a fantastic team. and uh, But it just goes to show, I mean, even just making the tournament is, is always a challenge, and you can't take anything for granted. And uh, I'm just proud of everyone tonight, where we fought, as you said, kind of refused to lose, and worked out. And Carson, uh, you seemingly rise to the occasion this time of year. Uh, you've played some of your best uh, soccer in the postseason. What about the postseason uh, makes you so comfortable? Um, I don't know if it's comfort. I think it's overcoming the nerves, I think, is the biggest okay. part. Um, it's just, you know, 
there's nothing, you know, as a goalkeeper, you're the last line of defense, and in the tournament, there's nothing to fall back on. You know, if you lose, it's over. If I get scored on, that could be it. So I think just having that in my heart and my mind of I can't get beaten, and if I don't get beaten, we're going to win. And I think that that's just the biggest part. But if I don't, if I don't get scored on, or don't concede many, we're going to win games. Two weeks ago, they were a five seed in the conference tournament. Now they're one of the top 16 teams in the nation. Luther moves on, and PK is with a win over Wisconsin Superior. Thanks, Gary.